The purpose of this video is to help you create a share folder on the Windows 8 operating system, brand new operating system, as well as to uh, create a one-touch button on a, uh, let's say, for example, an Imgeron Advanced uh, 5255 to scan back to that Windows 8 PC. So let's start. The first thing you'll notice in the Windows 8 PC is the start menu has been taken away. Um, right now, this is the brand new start menu in the Windows 8 uh, computer. Um, as you can see, it's totally different from any previous version of Windows. But we can s still accomplish what we need to do to um, be able to scan the folders. So the first thing we're going to do is go on the desktop. And we're going to right click on it. We're going to go down to Personalize. We're going to go to Control Panel. And we're going to go down to the um, Firewall section. We want to make sure that the firewall is turned off. Because um, as you know, if the firewall is turned on, um, you will not be able to send anything to the Windows um, computer, and that goes for Windows XP as well. All right, so now that we've confirmed that the firewall is turned off, what we're going to do is we're going to create a shared folder. So let's open up um, on my computer here. We're going to double click on the C drive, and we're going to basically create a brand new um, folder. So you can right click here, you can go down to New, uh, Create a Folder, and that's how I got the scan folder to come up. After you finish creating the shared folder, you're going to right click on it again, go to Properties, click on Sharing, go to Advanced Sharing, make sure share this folder is checked. You're going to go to Permission now, and you're going to basically add a, a user um, in there. So <clears throat> after you hit the, um, after you go to Permission and then hit Add, you're going to have this folder. You're going to click on Advanced and then Find Now. And basically what we want is the local built-in account. Administrator is the local built-in account or any other account on the PC that you created. But for now, we're going to choose the administrator group. You're going to hit OK. You're going to hit OK. You're going to give it full control. Hit OK again. And you're going to hit OK all the way through. All right. So now this folder is, is properly shared. The next thing that we're going to do is to um, configure a one-touch on the copier. So let's connect to the copier. This is a 5255 with a universal login manager that's already configured. This is a picture of me to get into it. So let's go to a uh, one-touch button here. So go to scan and send. You can basically hit the one-touch. There's a folder that's uh, a one-touch button that's already configured. Let's go into it and see how it's um, configured. So basically what you're going to do, you're going to give the name and a one-touch button name um, a descriptive name so the user can remember what that button does. In here we can use the IP address or the name of the computer. Uh, just to make things simple, uh, we're going to use backslash backslash the IP address of the uh, Windows 8 PC, backslash the shared folder, which is scan. The folder path is blank. The username is administrator. The password is there. You can even do a, a search by host and enter the, the, either the IP address or the name of the computer here, and it will find it. And basically, when you do it that way, the one-touch button you see here is basically configured for you. But sometimes you can't browse a customer's network um, for whatever reason, so you manually enter the configuration, uh, which is what we did here. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to basically test it and see if it will work. So we'll... Um, We'll hit the OK button. We'll hit the Start button. And uh, this window's come up. We hit Start Sending. And now that button is gone. Basically, what we're going to do now, we're going to see if it goes to the, the Scan folder. And it does. It's here. All right, so that's basically how to set up a share folders on a Windows APC and basically create a um, one touch button on the copier.